Hey guys, welcome back to Thrifty and OKC. If you are just joining me for the first time, I am a part-time reseller and avid thrifter who lives in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. And today I am gonna do a little Goodwill outlet haul. Now I don't do a lot of Goodwill outlet hauls and if you watch me, you probably have noticed that. And that is not because I have anything against the Goodwill outlet. It is because I cannot control myself when I go to the Goodwill outlet. And I end up buying way too much stuff because I'm like, oh, this is only 59 cents a pound. So this is probably half a pound, it's like a quarter. And then I get home and I'm like, oh my God, what am I gonna do with all of this? So I do resell part-time. I do look for inventory there and I look for stuff for myself, but I usually list around three to five items today, a day, probably five to six days a week. So I can't churn out 20 or 30 items a day like a full-time reseller can, which means I can't bring in huge amounts of items um, to sell or I get really overwhelmed and my death pile goes really quickly, which is exactly what happens when I go to the Goodwill outlet, as you're about to see, which is exactly why I don't go there anymore. <laughs> or it's not that I don't go at all, but I go very rarely um, just because I almost always find good stuff. So I also always like to, when I do these videos, preface that I am in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. So the odds that I'm gonna find an authentic Gucci bag or Chanel or something really, really crazy like you see in a lot of the bigger cities is very slim to none. So if you're watching a video hoping to see something like that, you're more than likely not gonna see it here. I've gotta find and keep my eye out for unusual items. Um, I find a lot of bread and butter items. And every once in a while, I'll find something really, really awesome that's uh, vintage. But for the most part, it's still gonna be a lot of stuff that's more on your bread and butter level than something that's just crazy awesome. With that being said, I'm gonna jump into the haul. I am not showing you every little thing that I got because I did get some weird like things for the business. I got some little baggies to hold jewelry and um, some boxes and things like that. And I'm not gonna show that because it's not exciting. So I'm just gonna start out and we'll jump right in and I'll show you kind of what I got. So I love these embroidery patterns. I have, I really love this one. Look at that eagle, isn't that cool? I do like to embroider. I do not do it a lot, but one of these days, there's a little angel one. I am. So these are super light. My Goodwill is 59 cents a pound for housewares. So I definitely, anytime I see these, and I do see these a lot for some reason. I don't know why. Um, I gather them up. Sometimes I sell them in a lot on Etsy. Most of the time I keep them just because I like them. So I got those. Uh, I have not opened this yet. I'm hoping this is all in one piece. This was a cute little office supply thing. I will keep it. Um, just to hold like paper clips and push pins and stuff, but I thought that was really cute. It had been at the Goodwill, apparently. It was $2.92. Nobody had picked it up, but I did. So I also got some different jewelry while I was there, and this was really weird. I picked this up, it was like this in a bin. I thought it was kind of all done like this. I thought it was a necklace. Now I throw and go, as I'm sure most of you do at the outlet. When they roll those bins out, I'm grabbing as fast as I can. I'm throwing it in. I'm not really looking at it. So I thought these were that was a necklace. I get it out, and it's actually a ton of these cute little hoop cactus earrings. And I got a couple of different sets of earrings that you'll come across. So I thought those were really cute. No marking or anything like that. But, I mean, there's probably 10 pair in there would be my guess. I also grabbed this Lily Pulitzer sunglass case, and it does have two sets of frames in it. Um, I've got this one here and I've got this one here and I do okay with frames. Uh, this pair actually sold, I think it was this one, actually sold for like a hundred dollars, um, on eBay. So that's not a bad thing. People buy frames all the time. Even if they have prescriptions, they'll pop out the lenses and use them. So we'll see. I'll probably throw those up on auction for like $9.99 on eBay and just see where they go. And then I may keep, I have a pair of Lily Pulitzer sunglasses. I may keep the glass case. I can't say that for sure. So one of the things I get a lot of at the outlet that I look at are belts. And that's because I feel like a lot of people don't look at the belts. So when they roll out the bins with the belts in them, I'm always hustling to get over there because I usually can find some decent belts. So I did get this Columbia. It's got that cool weave on it, brown leather belt. I got this really cool like circular belt it does have some wear and tear on it but that's on the inside on the outside it looks pretty decent and it's kind of got a vintage vibe to it and then i got this belt which i really really like and this one is really heavy 
These are not real silver. I cannot read the back. I thought it might be Tony Lama, but I can't tell for sure. So that's what the back of that looks like. And it does have some wear and tear on the silver tone, as you can see. But again, it's a really heavy belt and it's a pretty cool, pretty cool um, design. So I grabbed that. I always grab any belt that's got a lot of Western look to it. I tend to do really well selling those both on Etsy and on Poshmark. So um, then I've got another little earring bag, which again, I thought, I thought these were all necklaces, but these are kind of stuck together there, but those are just some little silvery hoops. And then I'm trying to go kind of quick because I don't want you guys to be stuck here with me forever. Not that I don't appreciate everybody hanging out with me, but if you're like me, you've got other stuff to do. So, and then these little bitty baby gold ones. I thought, I think those are really cute. And so then a lot of what is left is going to be clothes. And I try, oh, I got some else in there. I'll do that next. Um, I try really hard not to get a lot of clothes, especially right now. I'm having a really hard time. We moved and I cannot figure out, I can't find a place that I like to take my pictures right now for clothing. So I've kind of been trying to hold off on buying clothes, but again, I get an outlet, I lose my mind. And so somehow I came home with still, I feel like quite a bit of clothes. So this is a little vintage golf sweater. Look how cute is this? It does have a little snag on the back. I'll show you here in a second. But if you are a golf fan, you will appreciate this. I am not a golf fan, but this is probably going to be a catch and release. I may have to wear this a few times before I get rid of it because I think it is so cute. It is a one step up vintage sweater. Oh, let me show you these since they fell out. I got a ton of these. Um, I got to unknot that chain. They're called, oh, what are these called? Projection necklaces, I think. So if you shine a light in, I don't know if you guys can see this. If you shine a light in through the little ball, um, it projects like, I think love in, I don't know, a hundred, it's not really a hundred, it's, but a lot of different languages. And um, they're really cool. And I thought with Mother's Day coming up, I got, I, I got like four of them. They were all in different boxes. And again, I just grabbed them. I didn't know what they were. I just shake the box, something's inside, throw it in the bag and roll on. And then I got home and got them out. And I had two boxes and each box had two in them. So they don't sell for big money, um, but I do think they're really cool. And so I'm hoping some people snatch them up for Mother's Day because I think they'd be a cool Mother's Day gift. So then I have some soft surroundings, strip pants. Oh, I miss strip pants from the 80s. Um, these were obviously in the Goodwill. They still have the barb on them. These are a medium. I do well with soft surroundings. So, um, ooh, oh, that's a string. I thought maybe there was a stain. So it's just a basic jean, but I did think the stirrup was a nice touch. These seem to sell for about $25 on eBay. I haven't researched on Poshmark. I do most of my research on eBay because I feel like eBay, I tend to get the least for things on eBay, more people looking for a deal. And so I research on eBay just to see like, okay, if I get this home, worst case scenario, I've got to list it on eBay. What am I going to get for it? And that's kind of how I decide if I'm going to buy something or not. So this I got for me, just a little new tags top for the summer. It is a little bit shorter, so I'll have to wear it probably with a higher waisted short. This I also got for me. It is just a little universal thread um, dress got an elastic waist. I think this will be really cute with some cowboy boots. And then just it's long, it's a midi length. So cute, cute for summer. I picked this up. I love these dresses anyway from the 80s, but this one is a size 24. So even with vintage sizing, it's still going to be a bigger size. It does not go all the way to the floor. It um, is probably a knee length. It does have shoulder pads. I do well with plus size vintage, as do most people, just because it's a little bit harder to find. It's not impossible, but it can be a little more challenging than finding the things in the really, really small sizes. So I definitely grabbed this one when I saw it. Plus again, I just always love the bead and the look of the 80s, and it's in really good condition. It doesn't seem to have any beads missing. So these I actually meant to put back, which I think is funny. I did not, that again happens to me a lot at the outlet. I don't dig well enough. So these are the Nike, it is the vintage Nike label. They're like a windbreaker short in a really interesting green color. 
It almost reminds me of peas, like a pea green. Did you? I'm not a pea fan. I don't know if you're a pea fan. But somebody has these listed for $35 on eBay, so I guess I'm glad that I erroneously did not put those back. Now, the next item, I so wish these were in my size because I would rock these bad boys all day long. So these are a rhinestone fringe jean. The rhinestones go all the way down the leg and all these little pieces actually have little rhinestones in them. I have not checked for every single one, but look at that. I mean, it doesn't get more Dolly Parton. I'm just saying, and I love me some Dolly Parton. Um, I had to get them. So I am hoping these are a 1X, I think. And they are Club X, which I have never heard of, but I don't care if they have been Walmart brand. I just, I could not leave them. I could not leave them behind. So I'm hoping somebody like snatches these up and just rocks the hell out of them because I think they're the cutest jeans. And again, totally wish these were my size because I would sport those bad boys all over town. Get me some, a funky top. I don't know. Anyway, probably not a funky top because I'd probably be okay with the plain top because the jeans kind of speak for themselves. So then I also got this jersey. It's a Sanders Mitchell and Ness throwback. I think it's, I think it's Detroit. My husband told me, but I don't remember. It does have, you know, a little wear and tear on it. There is um, somewhere I'm going to have to rehem the sleeve. The hem has fallen out. I don't remember exactly where. Um, and it stinks. So it is going to have to be soaked. Um, in some OxyClean for a while, but it is Mitchell and Ness. I tend to do pretty well with some of their older things um, or their throwback lines. So I'm hoping to get a little bit out of that if I can. This next item is probably for me, again, would be really cute with cowboy boots. I have some black ones I think I've shown on video from a while ago, um, lot, like a couple, two years probably, but they're like a Texas, um, They've got stars and they're black and it would be really cute with this little free people boho look dress that goes just above my knee. Um, this one is a small, it is huge because it is meant to, I'm sure, be like really, really oversized, but it'll fit me fine. It obviously, it had been in the store because it has the barb. Almost done. I got two more things. So, um, then I also picked up this polo. I tend, I don't usually pick up blazers only because for men, I feel like a lot of times they can be a hard sell for me, but this just felt really nice and it is a polo made in Italy and it's just a handsome jacket. I was hoping it would fit my husband because he normally wears a 44. This one is a 42. So I was like, oh, come on, man. this will be so nice for the fall. Um, but alas, it did not. So this will go up maybe it's, I don't think it's a vintage. I'll have to do some research. That's not a vintage polo label. It might be from the early two thousands or the late nineties, but I don't think that it is. So that's probably going to have to go on eBay. And then the very last thing, and I'm probably going to cause an avalanche here when I pull this out because it's on the bottom that I got was this really cool bag, which strangely yeah. enough, if anybody recognizes this, please leave me a comment down below. Um, it looks like it's American Airlines, like a travel bag or something. This is like a cloth. Can you see that right there? Um, but it comes uh, like this, the leather, it is genuine leather. It does say that, and it has a long strap. So it is kind of like a travel bag. It would be a great travel bag. And it's really just open on the inside. There's not a lot in there, but I mean, it's in great shape. So... That was pretty exciting. I really, I really like this. This may be another catch and release. I might have to carry this a couple of times before I put that up somewhere for sale. And then the only other really big thing that I found that has already been snatched away, so I couldn't show it to you um, by my husband, was I did get two boxes of Magic the Gathering cards. I was super bummed because somebody put those back, and I think I knew who it was. The little bins rolled out at the same time as the big bins, and it's like, oh, decisions, decisions, what am I going to do? Well, I think that the Magic the Gathering cards and all the Pokemon cards were in a big bin with a whole bunch of games, and I think the person who got them both looked at the Magic the Gathering and maybe wasn't familiar with it or didn't really know what it was. I don't know, but they put those two boxes back, and I found those sitting like right on top of a book stack, 
Um, but then they had like a ton of Pokemon cards. So of course I wish I would have gotten both of them because I'm greedy like that, but I did at least get the Magic the Gathering and was able to bring those home and my husband was super excited. So that is the haul that I had. Minus, like I said, a few things that I did not show just because they're not really all that exciting, things I can use for the business, but not really anything that anybody's gonna be like, oh, that was a great find. So didn't, didn't include that just to save a little bit of time. Hope you liked what you saw today. If you did and you live in a smaller city, Oklahoma City or maybe somewhere else in Nebraska, Kansas, someplace like that, um, here in the central United States, please consider subscribing. Give me a th giving me a thumbs up, leaving a comment down below. Anything that you do um, that reacts with the channel helps me out and helps me grow. I am slowly picking up a little bit of momentum. So I appreciate everybody that watches. Thanks so much. I hope you all have a great holiday if you're watching this before Easter. I know I will be hunting eggs all day tomorrow with my eight-year-old because that's what we do is we hide and find, hide and find over and over again. So if you're doing that, serenity now. It's almost over <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Bye.